Hello everybody, fresh out of court. Um, for all those people who are there for me, I'd like to thank you. And here is the definitive what happened. Okay, everybody knows my court trial was start, supposed to start on 22nd. I keep on looking down, I don't to fix this. I hate that feeling like I'm looking somewhere. Put it right here so I can look in the spot here. So, now it feels like I'm looking at the sky. So look, and I can see up my nostrils. Hold on, that's not cool. Yeah, take two. Still got nostrils going on. Put my head out there. I don't know. Okay, look, come on. There was glass right here. Put this on the glass. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, no, that's not good. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I've been babbling for a minute. Oh, they pulled myself a glass. So, um, uh, where am I at? Okay, so I went to court today. Everybody knows my trial is supposed to start on the 22nd. Now, um, first of all, I'd like to thank a lot of people who helped me with my trial that, that you wouldn't think that would have helped me. I can see back up my nose again. What the fuck, man? Oh, I need to pour a little bit more in the glass here. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. Notice that came from the Kona Brewing Company. That came from Hawaii. For those who don't know what Kona is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alright, now let me get back to this video. It's been two minutes now. I got eight minutes to destroy it. Now, uh, so I went to court today. Of course, everybody knows the serious drama and all the serious charges I was going through. And trial, date this and do this and da 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 da. Bury your black ass, all that shit. Everybody knows what was going down. If you watch the videos and you know the truth, this is what went down in court today. The judge, well, matter of fact, let me tell you what went down in court last week. Actually, three days ago. Three days ago, I get to court and um, pretty much the same thing. They're wondering why I'm not taking their deal and their offer. And of course, I always counter offered with my counter offer, which was the same deal that I told them in the beginning. For those who don't know, the beginning of my trial, I did a lot of talking. And near the end, I didn't have to talk at all. It was a known fact that I wasn't going to take any deals. I wasn't going out like that. So I didn't go out like that. But I'm here to tell you, I'm not going to trial. There will be no trial of the real AIX. There will be no DUI charges filed against the real AIX. No DUI charges filed against the real AIX. <sighs> oh, shit. God damn, beer oh, spilling. Yeah. Right. It's hard to get these videos right when you use real props, okay? So now listen. I'm not going to trial. I will not be charged with child endangerment. I will not be charged with driving under the influence of alcohol. I was, and I did, accept the deal. The deal that I accepted leaves me stuck on the hook for two years. No fines, no jail time, no problem. The only problem I have is the two years probation. But if they couldn't find me in 17 years, best believe they won't see me in the next two. For all those people out there who tried to help me and who was talking shit and was not helping at all, fuck you. Okay? Just get that shit out the way. You naysayers who are saying I faked the whole thing, I bullshit and da da da, blah blah blah. You never get out the car and they would have shot you, da 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 da. They did shoot me. That's why I'm still wearing my Super Bowl shirt with the blood stain on it. So now that I've ruined the whole four minutes doing this video trying to get my point across, I'm going to be serious and do it. Went to court today with one thought in mind, getting this shit over with. The judge wanted to get it over with. The prosecutors wanted to hang me. The judge had to tell them, you don't hang people no more. So they didn't get to hang me. 
for those who know what really went down, they were going to stick me with four years probation. The DUI classes come up to $3,800, the lady was telling me today. The parenting classes for the child endangerment, that is $2,400 or $2,600, I forget. I don't pay none of those fines. No. The $100 fine that is attached to what I did accept, the evasion pretty much failing to yield, was waived. It's kind of odd how they can charge you thousands upon thousands of dollars and if you got the money, you pay it and you go and walk away. You're done with it. When you don't have the money, you take the worst deal they give you and you suffer way longer than your suffering should have actually been. I was stupid for not stopping exactly when she told me to stop, but I wasn't out of my range when I did stop. I wasn't drunk when I blew on the breathalyzer. And I did not endanger my child's life. These critics out there say, oh yeah you did, you told your son to get out of the car and you knew she had a weapon. She drew her weapon. She endangered my child by even putting her hand on her weapon. Not me. My only thing I'm being charged with is being stupid. I've already paid for that. But I'm going to have to pay for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. And then it's all over with. The courts do work. You just have to be smart enough not to take the fucking deal. You have to be smart enough to counter their deal with your own deal. This is what I can do for you because you're doing nothing for me. Everyone's happy now. I still got to pay fines somewhat. But I'm not going to jail. Not six grand. Right? Yeah, it's not six grand. So you look at the big picture, people. The only way we can get this foot off our neck, the only way we can make the police accountable for what they do, is to write laws that prevent the mistreatment, the misuse of justice, the misuse of police force, the misuse of the courts. If I was a cop, I can go pull you over because you're wearing a certain color clothes in a different neighborhood. That would be my excuse, because you look like a gang member. That's probable cause. Don't ride around giving these people a reason to pull you over, to check you, to search you, to bother you, to humiliate and harass you. Because if you allow them to humiliate and harass you, pick on you, bother you, bully you, and you don't have the power or the mindset to talk your way or think your way or work your way out of it, then you're stuck. You're a victim of law. You're a victim of the laws that we vote on that bind us. Get off your ass. Get a piece of paper. Write law. Write a bill and it'll become a law. It just has to be making sense. You have to speak with your brains. Because if there's any laws on the books that would prevent police brutality, no police would brutalize us. As long as there's no laws that save the people from the jailers, then we're screwed. So you have to use your brain. A criminal who has broken the law will take that deal. An innocent man doesn't take the deal. They make a compromise. They weasel their way out of it. They come squeaky. And once you come squeaky, you stay squeaky. Because they can't fuck with you if you're clean. For all you idiots out there who think, fuck the police, fuck them. For all you people out there who know what the police's jobs and actual duties are, I commend you for not going crazy because they don't do what they're supposed to do when it's time for them to do it. Get the hand off your back, get the foot off your neck, get off your ass, and change things by writing bills and work as hard as you physically possibly can to make them laws. Because if their same laws govern the police's actions, then the playing field is fair and we're not used for revenue in the end.